China is working behind the scenes to downplay the coronavirus outbreak, even going so far to falsely accuse the United States for starting it. After badly bungling and then covering up its handling of the coronavirus outbreak, China is now in full spin control mode, blaming the United States and trying to take advantage of the global epidemic. The State Department summoned China's top diplomat to the United States as U.S. officials accuse the Chinese government of spreading conspiracy theories about the coronavirus. A U.S. State Department official told Reuters that Chinese Ambassador Cui Tiankai was summoned with regard to what the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman said about the coronavirus. The Chinese spokesperson tweeted Wednesday afternoon accusing the U.S. military of bringing the virus to Wuhan. He asked the U.S. to, quote, be transparent, make public your data, saying U.S. owes us an explanation. China's foreign ministry on Thursday addressed accusations the coronavirus originated in a lab in Wuhan where the disease first emerged, saying the World Health Organization has found no evidence that the virus, which has infected more than two million people globally, was made in a lab. China has rejected Australia's call for an independent investigation into the original source and response to the coronavirus outbreak. Foreign Minister Maurice Payne announced on the weekend she would push for an independent review of the COVID-19 pandemic. A review would aim to identify the genesis of the virus and the approaches to dealing with it, including Beijing's early handling of the outbreak. This morning, Ambassador Wei Tiankai refused to answer questions from us as he left State Department headquarters. Officials here say they objected to what they say is China's blatant global disinformation campaign on the coronavirus. American officials have pointed to this tweet from a spokesman for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs saying, quote, it might be U.S. Army who brought the epidemic to Wuhan. Be transparent. Make public your data. U.S. owe us an explanation. There's no evidence U.S. soldiers visiting Wuhan in October carried the virus. A senior State Department official says China is trying to deflect criticism for hiding information about the coronavirus at the onset of mass infections in Wuhan. President Trump says the accusation does not represent the views of China's leadership. I did read one article, but I don't think that article was representative, certainly not in my conversations with President Xi. And they know where it came from. We all know where it came from. China knew about the existence of coronavirus as early as last November, but the communist regime stopped Chinese labs from testing for it and even threatened health care workers like the late Dr. Li Wenliang, who tried to warn the outside world and later died from the virus. By January, the Chinese government was still saying that the risk of transmission was low. The government was arresting citizens who tried to sound the alarm. Then, with the coronavirus outbreak in full swing, Chinese officials allowed a Lunar New Year banquet in Wuhan province, the epicenter of the pandemic, with tens of thousands of people sharing food dishes. Then, let millions travel out of Wuhan and China, spreading the disease across the world. There was no quarantine in Wuhan until one week before February, trying to rewrite the narrative of how coronavirus started. China's foreign ministry spokesman suggested in a tweet that visiting American soldiers brought the coronavirus to China. A U.S. State Department official told Reuters that Chinese Ambassador Cui Tiankai was summoned with regard to what the Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said about the coronavirus. The Chinese spokesperson tweeted Wednesday afternoon accusing the U.S. military of bringing the virus to Wuhan. He asked the U.S. to, quote, be transparent, make public your data, saying U.S. owes us an explanation. The so-called proof he cited is a testimony from CDC Director Robert Redfield. Redfield said a few Americans who have died from influenza later tested positive for the coronavirus. But according to official records, the first coronavirus death in the U.S. was confirmed on February 28th. That's nearly three months after the major outbreak started in China. Nevertheless, in China, the media has rallied around the narrative that the U.S. is to blame. One article from the communist regime state media titled America Finally Admitted It suggests that some of the tens of thousands of people who died from seasonal flu in the U.S. last year actually died from the coronavirus. Another Chinese military portal, Xilu.com, recently published an article claiming that the virus is a U.S. bioweapon war against China and that the U.S. chose Wuhan as a target because they are trying to shift the blame to Wuhan's P4 lab. 
This recent narrative is a drastic change from the Chinese authorities' prior statement that the virus originated in a seafood market in Wuhan. After the outbreak, our Chinese Center for Disease Control found the origin of the outbreak in a very rapid manner. The source is a place called Huanan Seafood Market. Commenting on the spokesperson's claim, China expert Gordon Chen tweeted that China's foreign ministry has, for all intents and purposes, accused the U.S. of committing an act of war. He continued, with Beijing accusing the U.S. of germ warfare, every America should leave China now. This tweet from a Chinese government spokesperson claiming that the U.S. Army brought the virus to Wuhan. Amid a global pandemic, why the blame games? It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. It comes from China. I want to be accurate. Trump said he also used the term to counter Chinese propaganda that the U.S. Army may have been responsible for bringing in the virus, known to be first discovered in Wuhan, China. China said it is strongly indignant by referrals of the Chinese virus and denied claims that it has not been transparent. We urge the United States to immediately correct its mistakes and immediately stop its unjustified accusations against China. China's foreign ministry spokesman has hit back, arguing Australia's comments are disrespectful to the Chinese people. China's performance and our contribution has been widely praised by the international community. Any doubts on China's transparency in prevention and control of the epidemic is not in line with the facts. We hope certain people in Australia will do more to improve China-Australia relations, deepen the mutual trust between the two countries and help anti-pandemic cooperation, rather than going along with the hype created by a certain country. Responding to those claims, Prime Minister Morrison says China and Australia can have respectfully different opinions on a planned review. Scott Morrison says it's no secret that the virus originated in China and that it was important all countries are transparent about public health. This is important regardless of where a, a virus might break out. Um, if it happened in Australia, if it happened in China, if it happened in parts of Africa or the Pacific or the Middle East or wherever it would happen to be, it's important for public health globally that there is a transparency in the way that you can get access to this important information early so it's, it's not pursued as an issue of criticism, it's a, is pursued as, a, as an issue of importance for public health. And I think it's important that all countries cooperate with that, regardless of who they are. China's position on the origin and means of transmission of the novel coronavirus is clear. We always believed this is a scientific issue which should be studied by scientists and medical experts. I would like to remind you, 
The head of WHO has repeatedly said there's no evidence that the coronavirus was made in a lab. Many well-known medical experts in the world also believe that claims of the so-called laboratory leaks have no scientific basis. On Wednesday, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Beijing, quote, needs to come clean on what they know. And at his daily news conference at the White House, President Donald Trump said the U.S. is looking into whether the virus came from a Chinese lab but did not want to go into detail about it. Multiple sources are telling Fox News today that the United States government now has high confidence that while the coronavirus is a naturally occurring virus, it emanated from a virology lab in Wuhan, that because of lax safety protocols, an intern was infected, who later infected her boyfriend, and then went to the wet market in Wuhan, where it began to spread. Does that correspond with what you have heard from well, officials. Well, I don't want to say that, John, but I will tell you uh, more and more we're hearing the story. And we'll see. When you say multiple sources, now there's a case where you can use the word sources. But uh, we are doing a very thorough examination of this horrible situation that happened. Go ahead, please. The question of whether the virus came from a Chinese lab has been the subject of theories on the Internet and has further strained ties between the United States and China as the U.S. has already accused China of mishandling the outbreak. There's no way to confirm any of those numbers. And has also questioned the accuracy of China's coronavirus death toll reported by Beijing. Their numbers seem to be a little bit on the light side, and I'm being nice when I say that. 